I like the way that Alex came into this and was like, oh, I'm a dad now. I'm tired. And yeah. Like, dude, we, we've been at this a lot longer than you, sir. Like, get on our level. <laughs>
Uh, I didn't press that. So yeah, we played um, some uh, Shining Force Versus as it is yeah. currently working titled. Uh, so it's got the red team, green team. Uh, you end up with higher level units in the games. Yeah, totally. Um, so we were enjoying some of that last night. Uh, we played we uh, Dark Claw. I, I convincingly won the first game, I feel. And then in the second and third games, I started playing like some kind of super <laughs> potato. Uh, and I, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't add super to what was going on there. Oh, I'm like, it was potato quality. But yeah, I know, there we go. Like, I need some like, I in, like, you know, a moldy <laughs> potato quality came to my, yeah. That's better. I yeah, mean, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, rancid potato, yeah. uh, garbage potato. Uh, I uh, mean, what McDonald's kind of, potato. What kind of potato were you then, John? Exactly oh, I the was, same I was, form of potato. <laughs> Urged potato. Yeah. I was like an engorged potato. That's what I was. Yeah. I was uh, a, a stupendous potato that was cheated out of a win. Uh, yeah. Which, it, it's all on there. It's all on my channel, like for for people to see. Uh, if you're interested, actually interested in watching, like um, uh, Alex does explain a little bit how it works as well. Like there's some um, there's some software shenanigans that goes on to make it work because obviously we're not all in the same place. Yeah. Um, I mean Alex is American, too. Uh, we're English, um, <laughs> and uh, you know. We obviously we, we needed a little bit of a hand to get that working, yeah. um, but it seems to be working pretty well at the moment. There's some things that need to be changed. That's why it's still in its beta form rather than than being fully uh, actualized and realized. But it, it uh, hasn't quite it, reached its final form yet. It, we're yet to go quite. through its various Dragon Ball Z uh, processes. Uh, we were yeah. actually having a chat with Alex in private message about some ideas of what he may try in some. Um, other mock-up builds and stuff to see how things go. Um, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, staying up that uh, late on a, a, a school night, though, has <laughs> kind of oh, broken yeah. me a little bit today. Behave. What time were you up yet, uh, this morning? 5 a.m. That's earlier than me. Okay. <laughs> uh, Never mind. Yeah. I was up at 5 uh, so I was I was on the early shift. Like it's one of those, but you get to finish early. But then you, I kept, sort of came home tired, and I ended up having to do uh, an investigation, which makes it my job sound far more interesting than it actually is. An investigation. Yeah. What what does an investigation entail into your job, Gareth? Somebody had made a mistake with cash handling, and it was a big cash mistake. Cash went missing. Yes. Oh dear, that's but, not good. But it hadn't gone missing. Someone just hadn't done the... Uh, Gareth is up early enough to talk with us Americans before we go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, just chucking at Krill in the yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I so, mean, he's not wrong. So, people uh, mock me for my username, which uh, I get. Because uh, the amount of times I've been on uh, Twitch chats with American streamers and it's like but your name's uh, G Never Sleeps and it's like yeah that was more to do with like the rock band I used to be in rather than the fact that I mean I have casual bikes I was in a band yeah yeah um I think most people in this chat have potentially been in bands or have been at the age where that was a thing that they tried to do I um, was never in a band Gareth what? I was never in a band I wanted to be in a band I was never in a band did you ask I never you, asked. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was too shy. I know. I I didn't want to like encroach into into people's space because I thought I wasn't like worthwhile having in a band. That's yeah. what. It, that's what it was. I thought you'd have done an okay job on vocals. Okay job. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. No. Thank whoa, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, thank you. Are you, no, are you thank trying you, to sir. say that you're better? An okay job. Wow. An Cirrus okay. Cirrus is like it's okay five a.m. right now. Yeah. Well, your voice has got better with time, John. Yeah, it definitely has. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm talking about back in the dark days. Uh, yeah, when I was still squeaky. Yeah, my my um, my orbs of power descended late, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> your orbs of light. <laughs> um, yeah. The, the, amount of, the amount of stick I got off people when that finally happened was immense. It's got to be said. Oh, if that... That's the... Uh... 
Actually, I think that's still the best place to do that. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, like, you were in a pretty good spot already. Stop! Nope. Don't. Nope. Item use. <laughs> but yeah, um... Anger level rising. I, I think... I, I think, uh... I think my voice changed when I was... 4... 15? 14? Yeah. It was pretty late on, anyway. It was, it was not early, so... Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't great. Yeah. Right. Uh, Captain Krill. Oh, ten Captain Krill. Yeah, yeah ten, 10 years of bass guitar, but never in a band. The social anxiety is real. That's pretty much what I was, what I always was afraid of. Uh, Captain Krill was just like, you know, I, I didn't want to be the person that was just like, I didn't want the rejection. Yeah. I didn't want the rejection, so I'd never put myself forward. Yeah. So I couldn't be rejected. Which I totally regret now. Uh, anyone in the chat who's like, you know, younger than us, which is probably going to be everybody, but like, if you have something you want to try and it involves like other people, you need to you need to go out and ask. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid to ask because you you're just never going to do you're never going to experience anything, yeah. and then you will be in my situation where you regret stuff. Because um, I can't play guitar anymore. Like, I, I've got a I've got a wonky wrist now, yeah. and uh, it hurts. I can't I can't play guitar. For more than like ten minutes without it like absolutely wrecking my hand now. Yeah. Um. I can't play the piano either, so that sucks. I mean, I could never play the piano. Then again, it's like I was in the situation where one of my best friends was uh, the singer of the band I was in, and they decided literally out of nowhere decided, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. And it's like, oh, hey. that's and, helpful. And it was like, okay. Okay. If that's how you feel. Well, hang, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. What age were you when when this happened? Uh, he was in our uh, early to mid twenties, like 23, 24. Just decided he didn't want to do it anymore. Okay, because I mean, like, if you're in your thirties or something like that, you might that you know the the responsible thing to do is to basically have like a band meeting and just go, hey guys, look, uh, I wonder if we could change things up a little bit. I'm not really feeling it at the moment. You you know that. The respectful conversation that older people have because, you know, they realize that, hey, my actions affect other people around me that maybe 20 year olds don't feel. Yeah. Uh, well, I think in his defense, uh, I think he was trying to actually get into a profession and he was like, I will not have the time to focus on uh, the graphic design stuff that I want to do and running my own business and being in a band which. Uh, at the time, we were we were doing a lot of gigs. Um, so, like, we used to gig three to four times a week. Um, so we got about a bit. Uh, you got the, about a bit, yeah. yeah. But the reason I ended up doing vocals for the band is we couldn't find a singer. No one else would do it. So I just went, screw it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not a very good singer. But... Um, it worked for what we did. We made it work. It wasn't great, but we made it work. Uh, uh, Papa and Chat saying that she's practicing guitar, and yes, it hurts because my fingers haven't developed calluses yet. Yeah. Yeah. The, the gro the gross stuff that you have to do to be good at guitar. Have you done? I I'm just wondering if Papa in Chat has done uh, the legendary. I am going to play until my fingers bleed as a method of toughening up my finger ends, as many people. I did that. Yeah. I did that. It works. Yeah. Uh, another top tip for that is to buy thicker guitar strings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now. Because the, um, the, the I, width. So uh, people in chat probably know by now, but uh, I'm, I'm a postman. I, I deliver post. That, that's my my thing. I can't really show it on camera, but um, the so I always knock with this hand. Uh, on doors, and I have a massive callus on my knuckle here that's developed just from knocking on doors, and it's enormous. Like, it's it's visually noticeable, like how much bigger this knuckle is compared to this one, and it's just from years of knocking on doors. Have you got? So, what, uh, I don't know if this translates to America. Do you have what uh, we call the policeman's knock? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, so I, I deliver to quite a rough area, and more than on more than one occasion, like people have gone, 
Oh, I thought you were the fuzz. I thought you were the pigs. <laughs> I, I thought you were the here, like, debt collecting or, yeah. you know, something like that. I've, I've literally had people not answer the door because they thought I was there to, like, collect debts from them. Yeah. So, uh, yes, that does happen. But yeah. I have to because other, otherwise morons don't hear it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you're damned like if I do, damned if I don't. Gareth, make sure to get a close up, a close up of what I don't, what of John's callous hand. Everyone, I mean, at which point I, does it won't pick up on my on on the stream. Like, look, the, like my cam, this camera is no good. Like, I, I'm, I'm waiting for uh, my money situation to be a little bit better, and then I have like a, another camera that's over here. It's a it's a Sony um, A6000 camera. Uh, and I, I need, like, a better capture unit for it. And then once I've done that, I'll be using that full-time instead of this. What, what John's saying thing. is he needs either an Ultra Ball or a Master Ball to make sure that it's working effectively. I, I need a Cam Link. That's yeah. what I need. Domingo equals the Goku of my shadow force. <laughs> I mean, that's not false. Um... Ah, uh, Papa's saying that she's practicing on acoustic guitar, so it's got yeah. normal strings. Yeah. Um, are the metallic strings or nylon strings, just out of curiosity? It sounds like nylon. Yeah. Um, I wish I'd had a, a, a guitar, an acoustic guitar. guitar. I never did. See, I, I always go by the following. Get the guitar that you really like the look of. Because I always feel like if you like look at that guitar and you're like, that guitar's cool and I want to play that guitar, you're going to play that guitar. Then yeah. you, you might reach points like me. Don't kill me. Uh, Gareth, why does Grumps not... Why is he holding nothing? Uh, it will be because we got the sword, but I've not equipped the sword yet. <laughs> but counterattacks aren't a thing yet, so it's, it's fine. Got plenty that's of true, time. That's true, that's true. Yeah. And, and it's alright, he might not even have to attack anything, John. I mean, that that's the dream, isn't it, really? It was almost a reality. <laughs> yeah. That baguette, of ju that baguette of power just wandering up and doing... Hang on. I'm going to do this because this Doom Blade has been absolutely terrible. <laughs> Probability ring. I know. I've been, I've been wanting you to use it, but it's not been effective yeah. at... Not in the slightest. <sighs> yeah. A deadly attack of there 40. Go. There you go. I mean, he only had 5 HP, and it maybe was a little bit of overkill, but here we are. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gareth, when was the last time you went to the movies? I have not been to the movies, uh, I think, since me and you went to watch Deadpool 2. Really? That long? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Um, I went to the movies this week. Actually, In fact, like no, black. Two days which ago. came first, Deadpool two or um, what's the thing called? I can't uh, run a comparison black Panther. off Black Panther. Uh, uh, solid question. Requires further uh, research. Hang on. Yeah. See, Cirrus, John led me astray to claim that the uh, Doom Blade was like the Gisarm. And it, it isn't. Uh, I read that on the internet, so I mean, it must be true. I, <laughs> it must be true, you know. I'm only going what I've never played this game before, yeah. Gareth. Like, I'm only going off what people tell me. Okay, okay. They're both 2018 movies, by the way. Deadpool yeah. 2 and uh, Black Panther. I'm so, not sure which one. Which one is more 2018 than the other? Um... They're both very good. I enjoyed both of them. Yes. Agreed. Um, but I went to see uh, Deadpool 2 with you, and then... That's annoying. <laughs> 13. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the last time I went. So, items. Equipe. So, I, I went to, to see a, a movie by the name of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Yeah. And how was that film? It was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, not, um, not least as much because I went to go to the cinema again, and the cinema yeah. experience is fantastic, and I missed it so <laughs> much. I honestly, I really missed the the cinema experience. Yeah. 
Um, and it was great. Like there was uh, some scenes early on with like the I think everyone's seen in the trailers like the, the fight on the bus. Yeah. Um, and there's like some really hard like rave style beats going on during that fight. And like so, I took my daughter. My wife was just like, "Leave me here. I need to relax. I need to you know decompress after a hard week of being mum." Uh, so I took our daughter to the cinema. Uh, and th- this this bus fight was going on, and the rave music starts, and she's like, she's not been in a cinema for like eighteen months, so she's like, this is great, and then she starts dancing in the <laughs> cinema, and uh, I have to calm her down because like if she gets you know a little bit, she's one of these one of these kids that if you don't stop them immediately, it gets a little bit out of control. Yes, I have uh, one of those children. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe Buddy yeah. would just sit down for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm unsure. No, it wasn't you. I went with my mate Jim. So, which was the Batman film that introduced? Was it Batman Forever that introduced Alicia Silverstone to the Batman uh, universe or cinematic universe? Because was it Val I Kilmer think as Batman? It is. Yeah. That's that's Batman Forever. Yeah. yeah. So when I went to watch said film, uh, there was a uh, you were a... singing "Seal's Kiss from a Rose." Uh, no, right. That uh, is that film, though, right? Uh, that is that yes, film. Yes, I think that it is, is that, that film. film. Yeah. So during that film, when Elisa Silverstone turned way. up uh, in the Batgirl outfit, some guy yep. there was me, my friend Jim, and maybe about. 12 other people scattered around 100, 120 seat cinema. And this guy okay. just went, Woo! Woo! because of Batgirl. And we, really? the, the bit that just cracked me up was my friend just very quietly going, shut up. <laughs> In a, a sort of slightly more grumpier northern accent, just like, shut up. <laughs> I would I, my My choice would have been Virgin. <laughs> what when you were twelve? We, yes, we, we'd have been quite still, still relevant. Still relevant. <laughs> It'd have been true. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I that that I think that movie's. I mean the the movie's aged very very poorly. poorly. But um, I I really liked that movie. I, I I think it might have been because of my uh, appreciation for Jim Carrey. Yeah, um, I, I like Jim Carrey and everything that he does. Although I gotta say, um, uh, Eternal Sunshine is it? Eternal Sunshine, Spotless Mind. Mine. Yeah, love that film. Yeah, it eh, it's not for me, but yeah. I I, appre- I, I, I appreciate waiting. it. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's not for me. Um, um I knew John yeah, was gonna uh, say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Shang Shang Chi. Um, lots of lots of uh, interesting characters that I wasn't expecting to see. Yeah. And uh, I think it, it does a very good job of continuing the the Marv- Marvel experience in the cinema. Um, something I was kind of surprised by though, I, I seem to remember you know who Kevin Feige is, right? Yeah. Far here. The the head honcho. He he has a pronunciation to his name. I'm I'm not sure how to do it. So you know I'm probably gonna get it wrong. Anyway, uh, I so just I copy remember... Mr. Sunday Movies. I copy Mr. Sunday Movies like Krill copies Nihil on Gardenia. Okay. I mean, you're all <laughs> wrong, but whatever. Um, so, I remember him making a, a like a, a statement earlier on this year saying that like they're not going to make like these, you know... Um, interlinked films. Uh, interlinked films anymore, right? I'm right in saying that, aren't I? Yeah. He definitely said that, but... It doesn't seem like they're doing that because there's lots of like interconnecting things between like this movie and like they're leaving a lot of open avenues for them to be able to use later on in different films. So like I'm not quite sure what's going on there. So I'm not I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. Like obviously because the, the movie hasn't come out for very long, yeah. but um, it, it's kind of weird. It seems kind of odd at odds with everything that's been you know released in terms of like you know the future of Marvel movies as it were. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But it, as the film goes, like I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. So, yeah. uh, two thumbs up from me. 
I I'm just going to quickly say we used the, w the white ring once and it's already got a crack in it. So I remember Alex saying that, that on, on Shining Force 2 at least, that it's random. It's not a set number yeah. of uses. Before it so I'm guessing you just got bad RNG. Yep. Which, you know, playing the this game, I, I totally sympathize because... You know, I had some bad, bad RNG against Alex yesterday and lost the game because of it. Also because he lied. But that uh, that didn't help. So, um, yeah. yeah. He didn't lie. He merely just... He lied. He... I, I think... He lied. He's a filthy liar and I'll never believe a word he says ever again. I mean, we've told you to not do that for a long period of time and yet you still... still believe him. <laughs> went the wrong way. <laughs> I had a drink and he went down the wrong way. Oh, dear. Hmm. Well done, John. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> I like the expect of... Uh, Captain so Krill saying that that actually sounds very refreshing. It's like the anti-Loki. Yeah. Well, Loki did a lot of work, like, tying everything up, and then you're going to have Spider-Man No Way Home that all... Because some people are talking about how that Loki affects that, like, due to the I... uh, universal time travel elements. What do you think about the idea that in the trailer, uh, Loki is Doctor Strange? And that's why he gives that weird response. You know, when Wong goes into yeah. the thing and goes, don't do that, sp I'm not going to... Do an accident. Yeah. That, that that would be disrespectful. Don't do that spell. It's too dangerous. And yeah. he goes, "You're right. I won't." Wink. Well, the suspicion isn't that it's a Loki. That he's a um, Mephisto. Everyone has been banging on about Mephisto from the Marvel universe um, for ages. Ever since uh, One Division came out, everyone was like, "Oh, it's going to be Mephisto. They're going to reveal Mephisto." It's like Mephisto's behind it all. It's Mephisto who's making Wanda go crazy and stuff like that. And it, it, and it wasn't. And it wasn't. No. It was that uh, woman. Agatha. Agatha. There you go. Agatha Harkness. As usual, uh, Woodhouse doesn't know names. <laughs> I don't do names. I'm bad with names. The only reason I ended up doing episodes with John is that I, without having to use a guide, usually can find my way around games. I remembered what items did, which I know is strange with this. Um, and uh, I think I was, was, having, you, the, I was having this. I was you, having the same conversation with my wife earlier yeah. on today. Like, well, I don't I remember, remember names everything. Of things. Yeah, oh, I, I don't I, remember names of things. I, I just I, for some reason like my my head doesn't retain that information. I, yeah, I don't know. May, maybe I'm just gonna go crazy when I'm like. 50 or something. Yeah. I'll just lose my memories or something. I don't know. So, yeah, Captain Krill. Th that was a conversation that I'd seen in a, uh, a Mr. Sunday Movies video where it's like, how relevant are the what if universes to the upcoming Marvel yeah. films? Have you watched any of those? No, because if you remember, John, I don't, you have, don't Disney have Disney Plus. Plus. It took them six I mean, it it's been a week since we. It's, it's, took... it's been a week. You could have had, like, you know, decided to get Disney Plus and watch all the stuff in that time. There's only, like, five or six episodes out. Um, I just have no interest in it. It For some reason, I was, like, really keen to start with, and then. Just. It just faded so fast. The desire to, like, watch all the things. <laughs> all the things. Watch all the things. Forever. I don't want to watch all the things anymore. But yeah, but Captain Krill is like, oh well, maybe it's a Stephen Strange from a different universe because of the what if episodes. True. Um, I don't think Marvel are wanting to do that. I think that even by Marvel standards, that's a little bit too interconnected and too much le like one thing leaning onto another. Um, well, I mean, like I said, like Kevin Feige just saying to everybody hey we're probably not going to do stuff like that again i'd love it if kind of, I, it's counterintuitive from what he's saying yeah what i would really love is if because dc tried to do um like individual movies without doing like t proper team movies uh or they tried to do team movies before individual movies and I'd just love it if Marvel sort of flipped that script a little bit on its head and later on, because there's a lot of talk about them reintroducing the Fantastic Four. I mean, they already, they're, that's on the books already. Hang on. Oh, has, 
Gunter's Bolt 1, it's better than the Spear. Yes, that's true. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> yeah, they already announced they're doing Fantastic Four. Have they announced it officially? Because a lot of the stuff... Yeah. When? It was in one of the... I think it was... Is it the Phase 5 trailer? Right, so they like, didn't... The right, last I, thing I, that was I, on it was like a giant but, 4 yeah. that came into the screen. So, they didn't announce they were doing it, but it's a strong hinted thing. What else is it going to be? The Fantastic Three and a Half? Like, what? what I mean, I mean, what other properties have you got there? Well, there's the Future Foundation, which is the Fantastic Four without uh, the Human Torch in it when he dies. And uh, does that title have four in it? Uh, no. But what I'm basically trying to say is that it's not a confirmation, John. There's been yes, it is. So we've had rocks. It's totally a confirmation. So we've had Roxxon appear in the TV shows and movies, but none of the characters related to Roxxon Corp appear in the movies or TV shows. Yeah, but has how many people have like seen that trailer and gone, it's not the Fantastic Four, it's something else entirely. Entirely one, Gareth, and you're it. Mm. It's the Fantastic Four. Uh, except I, I will eat my invisible uh, woman hat. hat. If if it isn't the Fantastic Four, okay? I mean, rumours have already abound that they want uh, Chris Evans back as the Human Torch. <laughs> Dude, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. For one, he's too old for the role now. Is he? Yeah, the Human Torch is totally like, you know, this jet-set, like, sort of, like, kid who, who is, like, hot-headed. I mean, that's the, totally the character. And Chris Evans isn't that anymore. I mean, he's... How, how old is Chris Evans? How old is Chris Evans? What, 40? He is literally 40. What a guess. He's too old for that role. Right, how old do you think the Human Torch is? Perpetually 23. Right. Just checking, because you were making him sound like a constant, like, impudent te uh, teenager... Like just impetuous in every nature and like just pet and running off and no, stuff I like that. No, no, no. He's hot headed. That I mean that that's literally what the character is. He's no. he's hot headed. Um, like he. The, one of the rumors. How old is that... the Human Torch? Right, I'm gonna do it. How old is the Human Torch? Uh, Chris Chris Fetterman says Reed Richards. No, the rumor for Reed Richards is uh Jim, the guy who plays Jim from The Office or something like that. Is it Krasansky? Krasans I can't remember. I don't really watch The Office. <laughs> John doesn't watch The Office because he hates cringe humor. I do. Right, I'm going to move Domingo over here and hope that one of the healers can get a turn to come near him. I'm hoping we don't have to kill everything on this map and we can just go to the gate and be done with it. So Osiris will be able to... Uh, Enlighten me with his wisdom. Surprisingly enough, it doesn't say. What? But the original Human Torch was like meant to be quite young, and we're talking like the the sixties comics. Yeah. Well, so... the original. Well, if it's the original, original Human Torch is an android, and Marvel bought him from another comic book. Is. They bought him from another. Of he is. Max Kinect. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can just, as uh, early Fire Emblem games describe it, we can just arrive at the uh, bottom here. I'm waiting for some yeah. golems okay. to appear out of the ground and uh, double attack uh, Max for game. <laughs> I mean, there could be burst rocks as well. Yeah. The infamous burn, burst rock. rock. So there you go. Stay well said. In. Easily done. <laughs> uh, so there are a ton of maps where you can just, yeah... I didn't think there's a... I can only think I, of two. I, I like the way Sirius says that. You can bring Max to the exit. Not that he can make it under his own steam. He <laughs> needs to be hand-carried to the exit. Dragged across like the a finish precious, line. Like a precious Fabergé egg that would break under its own steam. It needs to be placed on a velvet pillow mm. in front of the exit, by which he will then roll over and you will win. Uh, were you purposely doing Bill Bailey's thing about a small ferret depositing a Fabergé egg upon a silken leaf? Thank you, Gareth. They didn't know that. Yeah. But that's what you were going for, wasn't it? 
<laughs> of course like... it was, but they don't know that. Yeah. You're welcome. I once yeah. actually did something very similar to John, where it was like, I'm going to pass off a comedian's uh, work as my own, and someone literally from about two aisles away went, is that Bill Bailey? <laughs> and I was like, you... thanks. Thanks. Yeah, but these are Americans. They don't know who Bill Bailey is. Nobody knows who Bill Bailey is, do they? Yeah. Who who levels the main character, Cirrus? Really? In this day and age, all you need to Hi. do is the Iron Man. Marvel my name is Woodhouse Two Hundred Four, and I'm I level my main characters. Slade isn't a main character. Man, if 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 he was, can you imagine? Oh my god. All I just imagine is John again doing the Wolverine meme, and he's just stroking an image of a picture of Slade. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some Barry White in the background. Oh, yeah. My darling, I can't get enough of this Slade, babe. So, let me get some, uh, let me get my candles out. <laughs> I mean, are you lighting them, or are they for other purposes? They are actually for other purposes. <laughs> yeah. Weirdly enough. Yeah. So uh, let, let me let me just. Have you got some decorative candles? No. <laughs> I don't know how well it gets picked up on there, but it it it's. <laughs> this is how bad my addiction to chocolate is. It's a chocolate brownie candle that smells of chocolate brownies. <laughs> I'm hoping. So every that... time like I get a craving, I just like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Baby. Oh, it smells delightful. <laughs> That's it, baby. Excuse me for a sec. I, privacy needs to be invoked here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Linda, I need to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move uh, Gunts out of the way and see if uh, someone else can maybe get the hit on this guy. Yeah. In the meantime, allow us to uh, just have every character that's not going to be <laughs> of any use. Yeah. So John romantically involved with the uh, the chocolate candle. Yes. Because it's... I mean, I can get it... I, I know I can't eat it. <laughs> I know I'm not allowed... I can't eat it. I nearly said not allowed. Because, you know... You know, my dad would tell me off. Yeah. <laughs> if I did eat it. <laughs> I, would I would imagine the paramedics might tell me <laughs> off if I did eat it. I'm sure there'd be yeah, some questions. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, there, there would be some questions, wouldn't there? I just wouldn't be able to control myself because I, I actually have come to the realization that I am actually addicted to chocolate and it is an actual issue, a problem. Yeah. Because, like, every time I go to my parents' house, I, I mentioned, I brought this up yesterday, like, I'm overweight and I, I do a job <laughs> where I walk, I walk, like, 10 miles a day and I'm still overweight. And I went to my parents' house the other day uh, and my dad was like, I don't know how you can be so fat, <laughs> which is great, dad. Thank you very much for that. Uh, so, I would I like, just like Can I just interject uh, to what Krill just said very quickly? What's that? Uh, he's lighting his banana candle. Are they vanilla candles in the United Kingdom after the great... Uh, you got that the, the wrong the, way around. The, the yeah. milkshake uh, debacle. Yeah. Um, I mean... Uh, no. <laughs> I. It's not a problem over here. We just have more choice than you guys do. Yeah. Although, if it comes to Oreos and things like that, we definitely don't have as much in, uh, choice as you. Uh, the same for Ben and Jerry's ice cream as well. Yeah. So, we also don't have... Um, oh, what are they called? Those... Uh, those whip things that have, like, all the... Cinnamon... Cinnamon rolls? C Cinnabon. Cinnabon. We don't have Cinnabon over here. Which oh. sucks, by the way, because those things are amazing. We've got Danishes, though. Which are a very similar thing, and some places will do a cinnamon variety of that. Why? Yeah, if, if you ha have you had cinnabon in America though? No, I've not been to America. Right, they're <laughs> on another level, Gareth. <laughs> is so, it, is I, I mean, somebody, surely somebody, somebody in the, in the in the chat well, knows what I'm talking about. Um, the Shining Force. Sirius just reminded me to fix the rings. It'll be fine. Uh, the Shining Force is now in a desperate race against time. Dark Dragon is awakening. There you go, we're on chapter 8. Ooh, we're in the chapter last eight. chapter of the game. We're in the end game now. Doctor Strange. So, uh, yeah. So, 
we're going to sort of end a little bit and then we'll go into the next thing. I want to actually talk to some, you about something that happened in Discord. So, uh, no, I don't want to save because I'll save at the end. So, Are you talking to me or are you talking to people in chat? Just talking. Rune Faust at last. The long and perilous journey is near its end. You didn't it's, answer my question. Well, 